My name is Dennis. I'm working on the real estate market for the last 10 years. And um, I was asked what are some of the insights uh, that you can share out of uh, your experience that are not really well known uh, to the market. And uh, today I want to cover them. Maybe the first thing that I want to discuss and uh, uh, open up uh, with you is that um, not everyone is making money in the in the real estate. Maybe it's rare when you can hear it from the real estate agent, but it's actually a truth. The thing is that uh, some people come to the market with the wrong expectations. Maybe they are buying something that they cannot afford. Uh, maybe they are planning to exit earlier. Maybe they're thinking they can pay, put the down payment and uh, sell the, the property very, very fast or exit in six months uh, and without having an option to pay for the next installment. And this this is where they can get uh, into the trouble and uh, yes they are uh, losing money here what i can say is that uh, whenever you buy something make sure that you can pay, pay the property in full and reserve somehow this uh, these funds or just keep it in mind that you have another installment and don't plan to flip the property uh, in the six months if you cannot pay it in full so why uh, some clients like getting in such uh, situation. Uh, quite often it happens because somebody advised them to do this <laughs> and um, uh, as usually it's agents. And another thing that I can uh, share with you that I realized that some agents are giving a wrong information without knowing this, that they are giving a wrong information, especially if they are new to the market. They come to the company, uh, they've been told like uh, sell this, tell that, and uh, they are giving a wrong expectation to, to their clients. At some point they realize like, oh, I, like I was wrong. I, it, it's not really how the market works, but it's too late. Some people can say that they lied to us. And in, in some cases they do. Uh, but what I realized that some of them, they don't lie. They really think that this is how it uh, works. And this is what the client can, can achieve uh, because they were told. And uh, you just need to keep this information as well in mind. They can tell you sincerely uh, about something, but they don't have entire information. May or maybe they're working only on the market while it's going up. Uh, during my experience, I've been in different stages uh, in the market. So uh, maybe I know a little bit more and I have seen uh, bad, uh, bad scenarios. And the last uh, insight that is not very common and I think um, it's useful for you to know is that it's almost impossible to be 100% sure about future of the project. Will it be a good project or will it be a bad project? I realized that during the, the years that uh, there are always and quite often some surprises. Mm. Such example can be Blue Waters, for example. Uh, we couldn't sell this project. It's not like we couldn't. We didn't want to sell it because it was super expensive. Developers saw that, that nobody's buying it. They were offering very long payment plans, like seven years post handover payment plan. It was possible to get there. And uh, still, nobody was uh, buying it. And now Blue Waters is one of the most popular communities and it has a very high demand and prices there skyrocketed. Uh, same story we can say about Royal Atlantis, where initially we were saying that it's very expensive, etc, etc. Uh, now it has an incredible result. Uh, address GBR. People who recently joined the industry, they don't understand it. But uh, whoever were selling these projects off plan while there was no construction at all, only the plot, or maybe they built something and we start selling it, uh, they remember this, uh, these days. Like something that everybody thinks were bad happened to be extremely successful, above any expectations. There are as well cases where there were projects where everybody were saying like, oh wow, this is incredible, the price point is really good, uh, this is going to be a big success. But uh, unfortunately something happened and uh, the project wasn't uh, happened to be not that good. Here, we just need to keep in mind that we still need to pay attention to some uh, fundamentals, like uh, obviously don't buy something extremely expensive that you see as, as extremely uh, expensive. But in case if you, maybe you see an opportunity in a specific uh, location and it is expensive and you believe in it, you still should uh, most probably buy it. Because I had clients who were going to buy Blue Waters and I told them, look, no, don't go there. It's very expensive. Nobody will uh, will buy it. Uh, we bought something else. It still uh, went up in the price. Uh, but uh, if they uh, bought Blue Waters, it would be better for them. Uh, so pay attention to the fundament fundamentals. And um, I think uh, here an investor needs to do his own research and um, uh, make a decision. And uh, don't put 
everything uh, on the agent. Even if it's a very good agent, it's almost impossible to predict absolutely everything. So this is your investment and this is your choice. Yeah, this is the last uh, thing that I wanted to, to discuss and open up that is based on my 10, 10 years experience in the local market. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.